tutorial on a DVD-ROM, you have access to the exercise files used throughout this title. In the exercise files folder, you'll find folders for each of the different videos. If you open up one of those folders, you'll see a folder called finished with the project after I finish the video. You'll also find a working folder. I'll start each project by copying that working folder onto the desktop. So I'm going to hold down the option key while I drag to make a copy onto the desktop. Unlike in most projects, we're going to be working directly off the server. So inside the working folder, you should see a start folder. That has a copy of the Facebook folder as it stood on our server when we began this video. There's also a code snippets file, and a lot of the times I will already have opened this file into a text editor. You might see some additional files that need to be copied onto our server. So I'll also have my FTP application running, and I'll have the server already open. I'll double click on the shortcut here to open up our server, and I'm usually working inside the Facebook folder. We're going to open files directly from our server, so most of the time I'll be clicking on one of these files and selecting open by right-clicking and choosing open or using the command key on a Mac, it's command O. So open this file and you will see something like this. So I'll work with the code snippets to copy some of the code that we're going to be using in the video and I'll be inserting things in different files like this index file. If you need help learning how to work with servers, make sure you check out my video on managing hosted web servers on the lynda.com online training library. If you're a monthly member or an annual member of lynda.com, you don't have access to the exercise files, but you can follow along from scratch with your own assets. So let's get ready to build Facebook applications.